it's Mike Uzena. I'm with the uh, Menorcan Magic uh, handmade cast nets here in St. Augustine, Florida. And what I'd like to share with you a little bit today is a little information on, and I'm going to call this to dip or not to dip. I get a lot of uh, phone calls and emails from uh, videos and things that I sell. People have questions. Just for one, where do they get the supplies that they need to make their nets with? And other is, should it be dipped? Well, that, that's, that's a good question. Depends on what you're going to use that net for. Commercial people, yes, they, they dip the nets. The trawl, all your big trawls, they have to be dipped. And they use a tar base, which you definitely wouldn't want to use. It's called Dura, Duraflex. It, it's, a, uh, it's a marine based material that, uh, that uh, they use. Uh, I would suggest, and you can get this from Memphis Net and Twine. And it is a water base, it's simply called net dip. It's a water base uh, material that comes pre mixed. All you have to do is dip your net in it. But you have to be cautious as to how much you use. And that's what I want to talk to you about right now. I want to show you something. What brought, brought me to this point of wanting to do this is what can happen in an, ex this is an extreme case. I had a customer that brought me a, uh, a 10 foot bait net, which I have here. Uh, it's a panel net. It's made out of made out of nylon. It's an older net. It's in perfect shape. He kept really good care of it. It's, it's, it's panels, and uh, as you can see, what I had to do was I had to cut the old lead line off of it and and replace it with the new one. Now, and the reason for that is I want you to get a good look at this. This is what was around the bottom of that net. There, there's your lead line. Now, that was, as you can see how stiff that is, he couldn't throw it, it wouldn't open. And I understand why, when he, when he showed it to me, what has happened, uh, when they dipped this net and they hung it up, obviously, stuff's going to flow down, and apparently, uh, the excess material of that from the dip drifted down and settled around that lead line and just soaked into it. As you can see, it is totally brittle. You couldn't use it. So with that, uh, the only thing I could do to correct it for him was to take and cut it off, which I did, and add a nice new uh, lead line to it, which I use a uh, quarter inch solid braid nylon uh, material for the lead line. And those are shrimp net sinkers. As you can see, what was on this other net, for whatever reason, was on this net, was, uh, and I make a smaller sinker, which is specifically for bait nets and shrimp nets. And uh, as opposed to this size sinker here is more for mullet nets, or shad nets, or pogey nets, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, but, with that said, I think that uh, to answer questions that people have, about dipping the net, I think it's your, your call on that. I've been making these things for way over 60 years. I've never dipped a net. Uh, I use my, my terry, what I used to make nets with. I use a, I use a bonded uh, nylon, which has a film, on, which has a coating, protective coating already on it. That's what I use, so uh, there's no need to, to dip it. But uh, if, the, if you do want to dip it, the choice is yours. Uh, Memphis Net and Twine supplies everything. They'll have everything you need for this process. And uh, with that said, if you have any other further questions, you can contact me at uh, menorcanmagic.com is our website. and uh, Or you can email me at uh, menorcanmagic.gmail.com and that's M-E-N-O-R-C-A-N-M-A-G-I-C at gmail.com. Thank you.